If a rock is thrown upward on the planet Mars with a velocity of 15 meters per second, its height above the ground in meters after t seconds is given by the function h, which is equal to 15 t minus 1.86 t squared. For part a, we want to be able to find the velocity in meters per second of the rock after 2 seconds. Okay, well the first thing is, is that we need to make sure that we let the function h of t is equal to 15t minus 1.86t squared. Okay, so now the second part is you want to be able to find the velocity at t equals 2 seconds. So to find the velocity at 2 seconds, what we're going to do is use the following limit definition. So the limit as h approaches 0 And so we want to find h of 2 plus h because we know that a represents h. A, excuse me. So a represents 2, so we have a plus h here. And then it's going to be minus h of a, which is 2. And then we're going to divide that by h. Okay, so let's find the limit as h approaches 0. So now we're going to plug in 2 plus h into the function. So we have 15 times 2 plus h minus 1.86 times 2 plus h. And then that's minus 15 times 2 minus 1.86 times 2 squared. And then we're dividing that by h. Okay, so now let's go ahead and simplify. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. We're going to distribute the 15, and 15 times 2 is 30, plus 15h. And this should be squared, so let me make sure that's squared. So that's going to be minus 1.86. And so if we FOIL that or use the box method, we should end up with h squared plus 4h plus 4, and this is going to be minus, well, 15 times 2 is 30, minus 1.86 times 2 squared, which is the same thing as taking 1.86 and multiplying it by 4. So we get 7.44. Okay, so now let's divide that by h. Okay, so now we have the limit as h approaches 0. So now let's go ahead and distribute. So we have 30 plus 15h minus 1.86h squared. Well, negative 1.86 times 4 is negative 7.44h. Negative 1.86 times 4 is negative 7.44. If we distribute the negative here, we get negative 30 plus 7.44. Now again, you can combine these values, but if we distribute, you can see that we can simplify you know, what they have it simplifies to 0. So Let's go ahead and then simplify the rest. 
So what gives us 0 in the numerator? You can see we have 30 minus 30. You know, we have minus 7.44 and plus 7.44. And now let's combine like terms. So plus 15h minus 7.44h gives us 7.56h minus 1.86h squared. And then divide that by h. Okay, so we can factor out an h. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. We factor out an h. We have 7.56 minus 1.86h. And then divide that by h. So we can simplify that. And therefore, we have the limit as h approaches 0 of 7.56 minus 1.86h. So if we plug in 0, when we get 7.56 minus 1.86 times 0, since that gives us 0, we end up getting 7.56. So we would say the following. We would say that the velocity of the rock after 2 seconds is 7.56 meters per second. Okay, let's take a look at part B. Part B, it says find the velocity in meters per second of the rock when t is equal to a. So again, just like we did above, okay, the first thing is, is that we're going to let h of t equal the function, which is 15t minus 1.86t squared. Okay, and so now what we want to do is we want to be able to find the velocity when the input is a. So we want to find the limit as h approaches 0 of h of a plus h minus h of a over h. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. So we have 15 times a plus h minus 1.86 times a plus h squared minus 15 times a minus 1.86 times a squared all over h. So in our numerator, we distribute the 15, so we get 15a plus 15h minus 1.86. If we FOIL that, we get a squared plus 2ah plus h squared, and that's minus... 15a minus 1.86a squared all over h. So we have the limit as h approaches 0. So we have 15a plus 15h minus 1.86a squared minus, well, 2 times 1.86 gives us 3.72. So that's 3.72ah 
minus 1.86h squared. Distribute the minus sign, minus 15a, and that's plus 1.86a squared all over h. Okay, so now let's simplify what equals 0. So we have 15a minus 15a. We have negative 1.86a squared plus 1.86a squared. So then we get the following. We get the limit as h approaches 0 of 15h minus 3.72ah minus 1.6 or 1.86 h squared over h. Now let's factor out the h in the numerator so we can simplify it. So h times 15 minus 3.72a minus 1.86h and then divide that by h. So we can simplify the h's. So we get the limit as h approaches 0 of 15 minus 3.72a minus 1.86h. Now let's apply the limit with 0. So we have 15 minus 3.72a minus 1.86 times 0. Since we know that gives us 0, then we get 15 minus 3.72a. And so therefore, we would say that the velocity of the rock, okay, when t is equal to a, is 15 minus 3.2a meters per second. Okay, the next question says, when in seconds will the rock hit the surface? And then we want to round your answer to one decimal place. Okay, so the rock's going to hit the surface when the function is going to equal zero. And that function is h of t, and that's when it's equal to zero. Okay, so what is our function h of t? Well, we know that h of t is equal to what? Well, we know that h of t is equal to 15t minus 1.86t squared. So in step two, we're going to take 15t minus 1.86t squared, and then we're going to set that equal to zero, and then solve for t. So we can factor out a t. So if we factor out a t, what's left is 15 minus 1.86t, and those are equal to zero. So now we can set both of those values equal to zero. So we have t, which is equal to zero, or 15 minus 1.86t, which is equal to zero. So let's go ahead and solve for t on this side. So we have negative 1.86t, which is equal to negative 15. And then t is then going to equal negative uh, 15 divided by negative 1.86. And so we want to approximate that to one decimal place. So if we take 15 and divide it by 1.86 and then round it to one decimal place, then we're going to get 8.1, and that's 8.1 seconds. So we have t is equal to 0, or t is equal to 8.1 seconds. Well, we're not going to choose the one where t is equal to 0. So that means we're looking for this value here. So we would say the following.
So we would then say that the rock hits the surface when t is approximately 8.1 seconds. Okay, the last question here is with what velocity in meters per second will the rock hit the surface? Well, we can see here that t is equal to 15 over 1.86 or 8.1 seconds. Okay, and then we know what the velocity is. The velocity is given by the following here. So let's take a look at the following. So we know that the velocity is 15 minus 3.72a. Okay, so when will it hit the surface? Well, it's going to hit the surface at when a is equal to 15 over 1.86 or approximately 8.1 seconds. So what we want to do is we want to find out what v of a is of the velocity function that we found, 15 minus 3.72a. So that means we're going to find v of 15 over 1.86. So that's equal to 15 minus 3.72 times 15 over 1.86. So that gives us 15 minus 30, which then is negative 15 meters per second. So the velocity would be at negative 15 meters per second.